Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Suburban Cell. So today I'm gonna do another propagation experiment, but this time we're gonna do um, with the Peperomia obtusifolia. Now, as you can see, my plant is not looking the best. Um, I'm not really in love with it anymore. It's just these two little branches, which when I got it, they, it was really small. And then I've got some problems with some bleaching down here. I don't know if that's overwatering. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened, or maybe it's just the natural shedding of leaves. But this plant is actually pretty easy to propagate, and but I've never done it, okay? Um, it's kind of like a succulent, and as we know, succulents are pretty easy to propagate. And so I'm going to try and propagate this plant to make a nice fuller looking plant that hopefully I will fall back in love with again, because I did used to really like this. There's a bunch of different ways that you can propagate the peperomia. Leaf cutting is one, stem cutting is one, and there's you can even cut a leaf in half and put it in the soil kind of like you would like a begonia and they'll propagate that way too. But I'm gonna do um, stem cuttings and leaf cuttings and I'm gonna do water and I'm gonna do soil and we're gonna see which yields the best result. Now, I think because this is healthier looking up here, this is probably a good opportunity for a stem cutting. So I'm going to just grab a little piece of stem here right above this node. And I'm gonna remove these leaves and use these bottom two leaves for a leaf cutting. Just give it a little, you know what, I think I'm gonna cut it. Maybe. So we have a little leaf cutting there with just a little bit of stem or not. And I'm gonna take this bottom leaf too as well. Let's see if I can pop this one off. They don't really pop off like succulents, do they? It's okay. And this one I might actually try to cut a little bit of the stem with it. Give it a little bit better chance. So we have our stem and we have our little leaf there. Now let's take a look at this side. Kind of do the same thing. Oop, that one snapped off, got one. I think I'll just leave that like that. Give it a little bit more of a chance. So. I'm gonna take some of these, let's see. There's a little guy down there. I actually kinda of like that better without having those long gangly things on it, but I don't like these yellow leaves, so I'm gonna keep going, even though I'm a little stressed. I wonder if There's a little cutting, we'll try that. And even though these leaves don't look particularly healthy, I'm gonna try and propagate them anyway. Because you never know. And then this little young guy, cut you down there. See about getting that little leaf too. Okay, so unfortunately this is probably gonna go. I might try and try these leaves yet, we'll see. But I think uh, this guy's done. So I've got my little jars of water. And this time I'm actually gonna use some rooting hormone. I haven't really used rooting hormone in my videos before and the reason for that is because I don't want people to think that in order to have fun with plants you have to go out and like buy all this stuff because you really don't need to. That being said, rooting hormone can help in your planting experiments. Let's see. 
So I'm just going to dip the end in and put it in the soil. Just like that. Let's see. Let's do a stem in there too. Okay. There's one little prop there. Let's get a couple going in water. You know, I'm going to dip this one in some rooting hormone too and just stick it in the water. Can't hurt, right? And let's see what else do we have for stems. This guy, I don't know. Let's see if what we can get. I need to dump a little bit out so that I can get at it. Is that the right end? Oh boy. I think it is. Look at this long little leaf with a little bit of stem on it. I'm gonna put this in the water too. So we'll do a leaf in water as well. All right, so we're all set up. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is put a bag over one just to help increase the humidity. And we'll see kind of which one fares better. And I will update here in the next few weeks as we watch the progress of the um, obtuse foliar propagation. So until next time, when I have an update, um, stay tuned, because I'll be back shortly. Hey everyone, I'm back with an update on my um, Peperomia obtuse folia propagation. I'm just a few days shy of an, a month, uh, a month of time, and I've got some lovely roots you can see going. And I actually got roots pretty quick, which I'm going to chalk that up to um, the rooting hormone that I used because I did notice roots all of a sudden they just kind of exploded on the scene, which is very exciting. And you know, I've been really busy, so I actually forgot to change the water, and it actually doesn't look that bad. The water looks pretty good. So I've got roots on both the water cuttings. Which is really exciting. Oh look, looks like a little leaf bud. Very cute. So success on the water thus far. Now I haven't even really looked at the soil. I think I watered this one maybe once, which may have been a mistake, I'm not quite sure. Um, but under the one that I put the extra humidity, you can see in the bag there's already a little root. See that little white line? There's already roots coming up on this one. Let's get a better look. So I've already got roots Man, it's already kind of rooted in. And part of me thinks that I just leave this one alone, right? Just kind of let it go um, and see how it does. Let's just check and see what's going on here. Everything's in there pretty good. Oh, look what I just did. Pulled that leaf off. But you know what? It wasn't looking very healthy anyway, so. All this is is a stem now. Let's just pull this stem out that I just pulled the leaf off of and see if there's anything in there. Well, and it did have some, some roots. I'm wondering if now, since I ruined it with the leaf, it's probably done, which, my bad, it probably wouldn't have survived anyway. So, that's okay. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. 
Yep, there's a few little roots right there coming from these cuttings. And part of me thinks that I should maybe, well, especially the leaves, let's see. Uh-oh, guess what I just saw? A pest. I don't like that. Don't like that one bit. So my real question was, you know, does the peperomia need extra humidity to propagate? And I would say that it does not. It does not. This has roots as well. So you can kind of see. And my thought is, I think I'm gonna move these into here to have one big one up the humidity. And of course, give it a, a nice spray down so that I don't have any pest transfer. Um, super cool though, right? Really easy, really easy to propagate. So now I wanna get these cute little stems in a pot. And just talk a little bit about soil mixture. So the Peperomia optusfolia is gonna like a little moisture retention. So I'm gonna use um, a regular potting mix for that aspect, but it also needs really good drainage. So I'm gonna add some perlite. And I'm also gonna finish off with some succulent soil. Okay, so we're looking at a mixture of about half and half of potting soil and succulent mix. A little root up top, so I'm gonna go down a little bit further with this guy. Got my little leaf there. And you know what, I think I might actually put one of these in here just to kind of fill it in. But I'm gonna go give this a quick rinse under the um, faucet and maybe treat it with um, a little, uh, I don't know, little um, insecticidal soap before I put it in here. Okay, give it a nice little bath. And in case you're wondering, I use this organic insecticide, ins, insect, let me try again. Organic insect soap from Espoma. Okay, so now I'm gonna give my little arrangement a nice drink of water, and I think I'm also going to use um, some rooting hormone in my water just to help it along a little bit more. And I'm going to also use the plastic bag method to help increase the humidity. Very cute. You know, I wasn't really excited about the Peperomia. I don't know, I kind of was disillusioned by the one I had, but now after seeing the progress that it made with its propagation, I'm actually really in love with this plant again. So it's totally redeemed itself. So thanks for checking out this video about the Peperomia obtuse folia. I hope you too have enjoyed learning about how easily this peperomia propagates. 
Um, if you have any tips or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, and make sure and subscribe to my channel for more propagation that I'm going to be working on throughout the summer. And uh, if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to check out my website, suburbansill.com. Thanks, and I will see you next time.